a Tuesday and uh, watch a little bit of soccer. England and uh, Columbia are going to go to extra time, and we've got a couple of soccer players here with us. Uh, Keith Wilder and Adam Foltz, uh, both graduated Alamogordo High School students, but I uh, wanted to bring them in because uh, both guys uh, have earned some uh, some special honors uh, since the, the school year has ended. Uh, but first of all, guys, how are you? Good? Good so far. Good, thank Good. you. All right. Happy to have you all here. Um <laughs> Keith, I mean, we know you're an England fan. Yeah. Your dad's obviously uh, from England. Uh, boy, crazy, crazy match to say the least. There, I know. I'm just <laughs> sitting on the edge of my chair the whole time. <laughs> you've, been, you've been watching a lot of the World Cup, or just as much you can every do? game. They're waking game. up at five in the morning ever since the group stage started. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Yeah, I've, I've been trying to watch as much as I can, but it's it, sometimes the work. But you're you're working what double shifts and things like that so you're finding a way to make it happen oh I guess. yeah and, but then i work at a sports bar so whatever's on at midday i'm like get paid to watch it so that's pretty cool that's not too bad at all adam how much of it have you had a chance to watch uh, i've been trying to watch as much as possible but uh work has has gone in the way of that so you know hopefully i can watch the rest of the games yeah there you go all right well for, we want to talk about what you guys have been up to um <laughs> first off you know adam Congratulations on uh, winning Gatorade Player of the Year. Um, I think you know there's probably not a lot of people that you know know. Um, I mean, they've heard of it, but it's obviously the, the athletic part of it. But it, you had to write an essay. You had to do a whole bunch of things in order uh, to be, even be considered to be Gatorade Player of the Year, right? Uh, yes. There's three things that they look at: uh, your athletic ability, obviously, uh, academics, and uh, exemplary character. Yeah, and uh, you wrote out uh, a long essay with a lot of different things. What were some of the, the stuff that you you highlighted uh, highlighted in there? I know uh, your your athletic achievements and the goals that you scored this year, but uh, over your entire career. But some of the other stuff, obviously, uh, really key. Uh, I just talked about uh, you know growing up playing soccer and, and you know what what it means to me, and uh, you know without these sports, uh, who knows what you know these kids would 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 be. Yeah, and I think the other cool part about it as well is uh, there's some money that comes out of winning Gatorade Player of the Year that you get to donate back to the community. Talk about what you're going to uh, be doing with that. Uh, so winning Gatorade Player of the Year, uh, I got a thousand bucks to donate to a charity that I wanted to, and uh, I donated to the OCYL, and uh, they bought uh, portable goals with that money. Yeah, that's a great thing to do, and. Uh, and you played in the Otero County Youth Soccer League when you were uh, there? I did. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, uh, Coach Barbosa, Coach Wilder, I mean, both of them you had a chance mm -hmm. to, uh, to yep. play in, or yeah. It's interesting, I mean, how much connection there is. I mean, Keith, uh, you're obviously an OCYSL kid, too, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, that's where we all start out at. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and I, it's sometimes I don't know, because I know obviously some kids move in from outside the mm -hmm. community, but you guys have been here. Um, and so Adam is somebody that you've known. I mean, wh when did you guys meet each other? What age? <laughs> I think it was like when, because it used to be Rudy would have a team and my had, dad had a, had a team when we were like kids. And then one day when we would always go into the championship, Rudy came up to my dad and was like, well, do you want to like create like a team and we can travel together? And so it was like when we were like 11 and 12 is when we started merging together. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, and obviously that's part of that is what became, you know, Alamogordo Tiger soccer and state champion mm -hmm. this year. Um and do you think that's something that obviously helped that you guys obviously had as much connection with each other that you'd been on the travel team and all of that that helped you guys uh, this this last season the last few years oh yeah definitely we had what other big schools don't have is we have chemistry all of us have played together since we were 12 years old some of us even younger so you understand everybody's strengths and weaknesses what they can and can't do and so then you can work together a lot better as a machine and that's what helped us win the state championships whereas in Crucis you have some kids play on one team and some on another some play out of town and then they just all kind of come together for high school and try to do the best that they can yeah, Adam, to be one of the few guys that have ever won, you know, Gatorade Player of the Year, one of the few athletes at Alamogordo uh, to win it. You know, talk about what that means to you, and I mean, to be able to bring that. It's been the first time since the '90s, I think, we've had a Gatorade Player of the Year here in Alamogordo. Uh, there's only been two others, uh, Adam Fry and Jimmy Rhodes, and to be put in that category is, I can't even explain it. I I still don't really truly understand what it means, but you know, it's an honor for me and my family. So. I I like to bring back to this community. Yeah, and I think cool thing as well. You're obviously going to be continuing uh, playing co or playing soccer. You're gonna to get ready to start training here in a little bit, right? So uh, <laughs> are you? No, those you're not two, looking the, forward to that as those much, two right? days I am not looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to be training with the soccer team coming up yep. next week, yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, going to the University of the Southwest. What made you decide uh, the University of the Southwest over some other choices? Uh, you know, I was I was torn between either you know playing or just going to school and. 
you know, it was it was at the deadline where I was just like, I want to play soccer again. And uh, I called the coach up, and and he he opened his arms to me. So and I went to visit the the college, and it's something that that looks fun and and something that I could do. And having Tonio there will obviously help out a little bit, of right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, um, you know, you, you decided that you were going to finish up your, your playing career in, in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, but academically, I, I, you know, and I've told a couple people because you, you, you won our scholarship for the NMBA uh, Community Scholarship. And in that, you talked about already being through two years of college. Um, what was that like in high school? Obviously, on top of having a job, on top of doing the athletic training, playing soccer, all of that. Was that exceptionally challenging over the last couple of years to make that happen it definitely kept me busy yeah. um plenty of times there was semesters so i was taking about 11 classes a semester wow. so it was a lot of 2 a.m mornings waking up at 8 to go to the high school but this last senior year is when it all paid off because i could have like the half day schedule i finally was able to take like my uh sciences at the college in class and understand them and like fully apply myself so i got a taste of what it'll be like on my own a little bit and how spread out the day will be so i i enjoyed it it was a lot of work but it did pay off in the end yeah and i mean was it a guidance counselor was it your parents was it you i mean who kind of pushed you towards you know putting that much work into it over the last couple of years i was in the gifted program and they always just kind of like here's dual credit here's ap and so i knew i wanted to take ap classes and then i was like well let me try dual credit and then it just turned into like another one and then another two and then it eventually it was like well you have enough to get your associate's degree so i was like well let's do it then yeah well i just to be two years on heading into college has got to be a uh, a great relief to you and just feel like i mean you're you're ahead of the game for uh, for compared to a lot of other students um how, how do you plan to use that to your advantage just obviously get out there into the workforce a little bit sooner um i i know i want to go to grad school what i want to do in grad school isn't really solidified yet but what it helps me with is like when i graduate grad school i won't be much older than people graduating with their bachelors so i'll be able to retire a lot earlier is what i really am looking forward to (laughs) don't we all (laughs) (laughs) um speaking obviously the academics part of it uh the united uh soccer's or the united coach soccer coaches uh association i think it's a longer name than that for high school coaches but anyway uh you earned uh, all Amer- academic all america honors uh through that um you know obviously those are honors that you get i mean from the athletic side of it but from the academic side of it uh talk about in terms of earning that that particular honor for yourself it just ha- it helped put everything in one award for me because it, it was like you know you get first team all state well that highlights your athlete, athletic ability and then getting the academic just kind of showed like oh like he did all this behind the scenes as well so it, it helped me just be like put in the spotlight of oh he did all that on top of his athletic ability so yeah i was really honored to do it yeah, I, well, I'll tell you what, it's a great honor to earn, uh, and, you know, obviously should be noted uh, as well for, for you, Adam, I mean, the academic part of it, you're uh, already, I, I think I've talked to you the last two years, and you've known what you wanted to do after you finished up with high school, um, and we'll ask you again here, Keith, I'm sure we've we've heard from you guys before, but, um, you know, Adam, uh, what's what's the plans for you when you go over to the University of the Southwest, or have you decided to change it up, maybe? Well, you know, I, I was talking to you, and I was, I was telling you over the years that I want to do anesthesia. Uh, Working at the hospital, it changed me to to go to business school. So oh, okay, all so. right, there you go. So, yeah, but you know what? That's good. You're finding that out now. Uh-huh. So <laughs> <laughs> so you learned obviously in your time maybe that 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 uh, med- medics or medical is not something that you want to do. It, it's still on the burner, but. I'm gonna go to business school. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's fine. Um, and obviously, uh, do you have like future plans after what you want to do in terms of with a business degree, or just gonna work? Uh, on that I right haven't now? really decided yet. Okay. Very good. And uh, Keith, I know you've talked about athletic training possibly, or is there somewhere other direction that you want to go into? Or? Actually, I am pursuing nursing. Nursing. Now. Oh, that's right. Okay. So. You guys. You guys uh, I know. Everybody all, changes <laughs> up. <laughs> it's good, though. That's you know that, that stuff sometimes happens in college. You guys are figuring it out before mm-hmm. you go to college. So that's, uh, that's a pretty cool deal. Um, and obviously looking forward, 
you know, Adam, you you went out there with youth camp. Uh, just from the soccer standpoint, you're going to be out there with the team this year. Keith, are you going to spend any time with the, the soccer team this summer, or are you not going to have any? Time? I'm definitely going to go in the morning because yeah. I got to get back in shape. But the night set it depends on if I work at night. It's if I go to the night ones, but I'll help out as much as I can. There you go, Adam. I mean, just do you still kind of feel a little bit of responsibility to help the group and, and hope that they're they're getting ready to go for for the new season, even though obviously you're not going to be able to play out there with them. Of course, uh, I wish I could play with them. Yeah, uh, but you know, I got to move on and and uh, pursue my life, and you know, hopefully they do well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I tell you what, both you guys, uh, you know, and the overwhelming amount of uh, positive stuff that we see on on Facebook, just from the comments when we posted the Gatorade Player of the Year, uh, you winning the scholarship last week. Um, it seems like so many people in the community have really um, either met met with you at some point, or have had a chance to talk with you, or maybe been your teachers or something like that, and they've got nothing but positive things to say about you guys. So. Um, Best of luck to you, and and uh, we'll, we should let you guys go so you can go watch the end of the England Columbia <laughs> match. Guys, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Congratulations on all your honors. Thank, Thank you. you.